Hello and welcome to Play Paul's Turn. Um, we are a bit of a special podcast for this episode because we are sitting in the Odeon, is it the Odeon Lux? The Odeon Lux in Leicester, Leicester Square. Square. Um, we've just uh, seen Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness, is that what it's called? Um, there's four of us here. Um, we've got Alex, Bobby and special guest, Carolina. Uh, Hello. And um, so we're going to get some... Um, <laughs> Oh, okay. <laughs> no, you can though. It's fine. Don't worry. <laughs> um, so we've just seen it, and um, wow, you know, lots of thoughts. Yes. You've seen it for the second time, Alex, haven't you? you this just, is my second viewing. Yeah. In, in as many days. Yes, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know it word for word yet, but I know some of it. We're well, laughing because yeah. Carolina's face. You actually I watched saw it, it last, twice. Yeah, I'm afraid so. Last night at, at ten o'clock. So I saw a late night show. I saw an hour. Oh right. Okay. Yeah. So. Okay. So, um, <laughs> well, I couldn't, I couldn't say say no to a friend, and then, and then they said, and then I realised that I was seeing it the next day anyway. So, I right. couldn't couldn't say no to coming to see you guys. No, so. well, it was a special event because um, <laughs> when when it starts, when the film starts, we had a few trailers, didn't we, beforehand? Yeah. And there was a there was a Thor trailer, and there's lots of applause for that. We thought, hello, it's a nice. This is a nice, nice atmos in the cinema. Mm-hmm. There were obviously a lot of Marvel fans here, weren't there? It's um, a very nice cinema. It is, isn't it? Um, yeah, it felt very spacious and not too busy, actually, considering it's still a full house. Um, so let's get our, our, our thoughts on the film. First of all, Carolina. The f- <laughs> <laughs> now, I'm going to have to beat this out, obviously, but <laughs> the, the first thing that Carolina said when she watched this, or was it, was it a, a while through? Yeah. Well, it was. Uh, Come it on, Bobby. When, so the scene... So, Firstly, spoiler alert. Yeah, oh yes, obviously. We are yeah. going to spoil the hell out of yeah, this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So when, um, when Doctor Strange is before the Illuminati and the panel's made up of um, Peggy oh, Carter yes. as Captain Britain, Lasan Lynch is actually Captain Marvel in this universe, then you've got Black Bolt, who I'd never heard of. Oh, he's, I don't he's, know he's who in... the actor was. Yeah, I don't know. I'll have to look that up. Yeah. Um, and, uh, and then they revealed um, John Krasinski as Reed Richards from the Fantastic Four, which a lot of fanboys and girls well, were screaming there for. There were a lot of cheers, weren't they, quite yeah, often when, loads of che- when well, Captain there was Marvel was cheering anyway. When she turned up. Yeah. Captain Britain, sorry, yeah. Captain Britain. And then Captain Patrick Britain Stewart Britain. turned up reprising his role as Professor X, and Carolina just leaned into me and said, <laughs> This movie is such an effing waste of time. <laughs> And you and I were crying for about five minutes after that. <laughs> yeah, we were absolutely wetting ourselves with laughter. It just doesn't make sense. We're unrelated. You're it's right. mind boggling. You're right. So, is that, so, is that, yeah. No, no, it doesn't We should make also sense. remind, yeah, I mean, viewers something. will probably, regular viewers will know Carolina's name because she does come up on just about every podcast, whether it's uh, Tailoring Talk or Play Paul's Turn. But she, for all intents and purposes, is a muggle <laughs> in, in our nice. universe. Okay. Um, so uh, yeah. Anyway, so what did you um, what did you make of it overall? Because you quite like Wonder Wonder Vision, didn't you? The TV series. But I liked it up until the point where she becomes the witch again. Yeah. And then it became boring. That's right. Oh, so yeah, you're with I, me on that. I one. understand you. Oh, well, I like both bits, but I liked the, the the first half of Wonder was really fun. Yeah. And then the second half of Wonder was lots of Marvel stuff. The TV series, you mean? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, I mean the the, the the TV series tend to have a, this tendency to have the bashy bashy bit at the end, yes. yeah. which again spoiler for Moon Knight. Moon Knight. I'll, I'll keep yeah. it Moon Knight. We haven't, we well, haven't, we haven't seen, seen it. Well, I mean, okay, I'll, I'll be quiet then. So it's <laughs> going to be rubbish at the end. Well, again? no, no, no. Oh, I mean, no, 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 it's good. It's good, but it's, again, it gets a bit okay. bashy bashy. I think. From, yeah. Um, right. I'm with you. I prefer the uh, the TV series, like the the themed yeah. decades yeah. TV. That was really good fun. Um, but there are a lot of people out there who like the, who the people paying the money like the bashy bits, don't they? And I, I bit, felt yeah. I felt like Doctor Strange was like the the final episode of a TV series for two for two hours. There was a lot of action. A it lot is, of action. Yeah. I think it feel. I mean, it felt more action heavy than Endgame, and yeah, you know. So if you like that sort of thing, and I know Mark does. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Mark isn't with us today, but we'll probably follow up this with, with a bit more of a discussion. But I think he's going to really enjoy it. For that yeah. reason, well, think- he's going to enjoy it because uh, you know you've got the Scarlet Witch, and we know his feelings towards yeah. Solson. Then Peggy Carter comes back. Yeah. Then 
uh, who else who else is in oh well Rachel McAdams yeah you know so it's just basically you know going to be a we're too clean I'm not going to say it Mark. but Mark's going to have a great time yeah I wow. think it, yeah I and think Mark's going to cry I guarantee Mark I predict now Mark will cry when um, Peggy Carter says when Peggy Carter says I can do this all day he's yeah uh, Mark, Mark will yeah. shed a tear we will after that happens that bit happens yeah yeah. yeah I think I think he'll I think I was surprised at how emotional the wonder parts were there's a lot of there's a lot of story about, you know, her kids and her relationship to as being a mother. Um, well, it's the main, it's the main motivation, like, well, isn't it? Yeah, but I quite like that because I, it, it gave her some more um, depth. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, that was the bit that I, I, I did enjoy. There was a lot of action, but, but when it wasn't action, Wonder Bits were really good. I think. It, yeah, it, but it's not... It's all black and white, isn't it? Like yes. it's all evil, 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 and then all of a sudden redemption. Yeah. And 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 we can't. Know. We they couldn't keep her as as a as a baddie because yeah. everyone loves her. So it's oh, she's always been quite um, like the scales kept tipping for her in the comics as well, don't they? That's there, right. There are, um, but the motivation's always been her her, her, her sons. Yes. Um, and as a parent myself, I thought that I, I could kind of sympathise with that a little bit. I could yeah. understand that. Um, and I thought it was interesting when um, Captain Fantastic said the same thing to her. That was that really tugged at the heartstrings because you knew he was going to get removed in a rather imaginative way. Visually, I thought this was one of the most stunning Marvel movies I've seen. And visually, um, the, 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 the CGI was was stunning. Well, I mean, the whole everything, um, you know, the, the way yeah. the, just the attention to detail. I, I, I watch um, a YouTube channel called Corridor Crew, Corridor Digital, and they do VFX breakdowns. Mm-hmm. I did start looking looking at this and thinking, how are they doing this and how are they doing this? And I, I mentioned this to you at the end of the film, Alex, that there's a scene where Doctor Strange goes through, you know, the, the Swizzly portal things. And he, step in, he sort of steps in, inside the portal and waits there. And you can see like, the fizzy effects reflecting off his hair, which was obviously done by a lighting rig, but it was just that attention to detail I thought was... You know, with, with the Disney big bucks, especially on an eight K screen. I mean, oh, that was amazing, and that's where any any faults in the CGI can really show themselves. Yeah. Um, so at the beginning sequence where America Chavez first appears in our universe, so when when they were running away from the one eyed octopus, yeah. Thing, and you could just kind of see the green, you know, the sort of screen behind them. Yeah, just, yeah. Just, I'm being really nitpicky. But otherwise, it was very good. It was it was pretty flawless. But anyway, forget about all that nonsense. Can we talk about the fact that this was actually Evil Dead 4? <laughs> <laughs> it was, not it? And for a Marvel movie, like, people out there who are wondering if you can take your kids to see this. No, you them, can't. You cannot. It is so violent. What was it's, it's a bit good. late, because my daughter's already seen it. How? Oh. So she's, she should go with you. She's, no, she's going with my wife. Oh, tonight. So, so yeah, they're going to see it right now. So I, can't, I, I kind of, I, I should have mentioned this to her. But How uh, nightmare prone is she? We'll see if I when I get <laughs> when I get home. We'll see if she's still up. Okay. And then and then hopefully she won't be. It is a twelve, and she's eleven. Be and fine. She's allowed to watch it. Um, I suspect that. Probably there'll be some questions when I get home. A- Amy will probably say, "Didn't you think about mentioning this, or why didn't you tell me about this part?" Okay. And it wouldn't. It's not the swearing this time. It's not the swearing. It's it'll be the gu- the, the the zombie walking around and all of the the, the spirits and because those are quite scary. Yeah. So. Are they? Well, well, for, yeah, I mean, for, they, a, uh, for a child, a child, they would be very. Um, I mean, the spirits were very reminiscent of Evil Dead. Yeah. Yes, like, you know, I was thinking straight away of well, actually, the whole of Evil Dead. You know, the stop, yeah. the stop motion kind of evil spirits that were but in that, the log that, cabin. But that was always kind of hilarious. Yeah, in its well, own way. I mean, speaking of Evil Dead, Bruce Campbell was the highlight of the film yeah. for me. <laughs> That's a great cameo. Yeah, do you know? Exactly. Do you know who he is? No. Oh, we're going to watch Evil Dead. You are. This, she's seen oh. it, but she's forgotten about it. I mean, Evil Dead's quite. It's quite. Um, it's it's a classic, and it's quite low budget. And now looking back, yeah, it was banned for a while. So okay. when we were kids, basically yeah. the only way to see it was at a friend's house on the sleepover, well, where someone had got like a dodgy. It was just. I think for the time, it was just considered. 
very, very violent, basically. Oh, okay. And um, when you look at it now, you actually laugh at it more than anything. Right. But it was considered to be very scary and very violent. It was in, in this special elite list of films along with The Exorcist. And The, the, and the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Exactly, yeah, which yeah. were basically banned from home viewing and so on. And, okay. you know, people would just get them on bootleg takes. Wasn't there, though, in, in The Evil Dead, a leather-covered evil book? Yes, yeah, that's So right. a lot of elements were taken from that, weren't they? Yeah. I mean, Sam Raimi likes his horror, doesn't he? Yeah. Um, I was just looking at the Common Sense, um, Common Sense website, which gives you kind of what parents need to know. Um, and it's, it does say it's a much darker, more horror-based adventure than the typical MCU film. Expect jump scares, a resurrected dead body, violent deaths, graphic depictions, depictions of a de- decomposing body, which was awesome, wasn't it? It was great. It was so well done. Um, and fatal fight scenes that decimate entire villages and have a high body count. So I would say... Um, if you're uh, on the side of caution if you're yeah. taking your kids to it, really. It's quite a lot of blood. But, Wait. but I mean, I think, I think it's, it, it moved so quickly. It yeah. Didn't, it didn't dwell. It didn't dwell. Well. And it wasn't, it wasn't splat, it wasn't scrunchy splatter gore, like, you know, My daughter like arrived. brain dead because, or something. Because yeah, nothing, what, what about? nothing scares her. So no. she'll, she'll be like, no, it's fine. It's absolutely good. And then. How, so Laura, how's Laura? She's 11. She's 11. 11. Yeah. But, but then she will probably later on just kind of go, can I have a cuddle? And I'll be like, yeah, all right. See, my daughter is 12, so she could technically watch it. <laughs> and they, they did ask me as I left today, are we going to be able to watch it? And my wife said to me, well, let daddy go and see it first and see what he thinks. Um, but the thing is, they have watched all the other Marvel films and some of them are 12s, aren't they? So yeah. I've kind of made a rough moment back there, really. <laughs> You've got so. to remember, like these things, kids don't pick up those things. Yeah. So, so some things just go over their head and they don't... What, so like yeah. a character dying by their mouth being sealed shut and then... That was pretty hard. Okay, yeah, when that was... Their brain uh, spontaneously yeah. combusting in their own head. But you didn't see anything. Oh, so but come on, the way the side dark. of his face, yeah, the yeah, way yeah. the side of his skull collapsed. Oh, you mean Black Bolt? <laughs> yeah. Black Bolt, yeah. yeah. Oh, man. And then, you know... We, we reacted to that. We, ooh, oh, no, yeah. I mean, I was sat there so literally with my hand over my mouth. It was that, you know... I'm sure I heard a... Ooh, from Bobby yeah. one point, actually. But you, yeah. this was the thing. You started off at that time. You were thinking, everything's going to be fine because we've got these, like, almost Avengers doing... The, and then, no, it was not fine. It no, was not fine at no, all. Peggy Carter <laughs> gets absolutely <laughs> sawn in half with yeah. her own shield. Below, but again, below the camera level, so you implied it, which is quite interesting. Yeah, yeah but then they show the sealed ar- shield afterwards, which literally with literally covered blood. in blood. And yeah, blood, which so. reminded me of the, um, the TV series The, Win- the Winter Soldier. Yeah. Yes, that's right. Um, yes, it, uh, you know, I think um, follow, following on from this film, where's it going to go next? Because there's, uh, we, we discussed this before we started, there's lots of little um, teases to other, other franchises, because... Marvel or Disney are never going to stop making money out of these films, are they? No. Um, yeah. You know, so there was a couple of extra scenes at the end, weren't there as well? Yeah, so I think the way to see it is that this this film sets up the next few films um, for Marvel, um, and then there will be a culmination like there like was... Like Endgame. Endgame. So this is all part of Phase 4, that's what they call it. Um, and... The, there is. I'll go into more detail in the, in the proper podcast. Yes. Um, but the the um, Charlize Theron, who's is seen right at the end. I thought she was one of the Eternals for a second. She's not an Eternal. She no. is. She is clear, uh, clear strange. And there is a comic. There is a comic uh, that talks about that. So she is a strange, but not Doctor Strange. Oh. oh. So it's a okay. bit like um, oh the TV series with um, Loki. Because uh, no. there was versions of Loki. Is she like that? She's a version, a version of Strange? Of, no, she's not a version of Loki. She's hold she on. Didn't he? Didn't wife. he? Didn't he talk about his sister? She did talk about, but it's not. It's not sister. Okay, no. lots, lots of geeky speculation here. Sorry. Okay. Yeah, no, no, you're right, but it's not. So it's no, just it, another it's, sorcerer. It's basically. no. Um, she will be. It's just will another become, bit of hotness in the She will become universe. his wife in the future. All <laughs> oh, right. Okay. Oh. So whether, whether they do that in uh, the this, films or not, we don't know. But in the right. in the comics, that's what happened. You kind oh, of you kind of feel that like when they bring these characters in, that people know from the comics, it's kind of implying they're going to be those characters. Do you not um, think? Yeah, but I think 
this whole uh, Marvel has introduced so many new characters. I felt like um, the last set were really familiar and we really knew them well, whereas this has introduced so many new characters. They need time to bed in. So, so for well, someone is they killed most of the new characters. So. <laughs> yeah, true. For someone who's a bit less um, invested in this in the whole superhero series, yeah. did you find uh, the Doctor Strange film understandable enough? I thought it was crazy. <laughs> uh, well, see, that's the problem. I mean, it's like it, it was like pure nonsense and madness. Like for me. Just all this multi-universe and things, it's just like... I, I mean, the, 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 name, the name of the film is a clue though, isn't it? Uh, madness. Madness, yeah. Yeah, yeah I think, that's uh, what it was. I, I mean, did explain to Carolina that when Doctor Strange was originally written, it was a time of free-flowing LSD and other drugs and things like that, so... Well, it was, just, it was, Kirby, it was Kirby with the artist, and his Jack Kirby's... I mean, he was a great artist, this Doctor Strange. And some of those scenes where they're slipping... There's my favourite bit, one of my favourite bits, was where they were falling through all the universes. And there's a universe of cartoons and a universe where they're just like splashes of paint. And I thought that was amazing. And we, we turned to each other, yeah. Alex and I, and we said, we're going yeah, to have to go back and pause that and have a look yeah, at we'll what... Just, just the... There was, I think, again, there were probably hints and clues in there as well. Why do you think in Wonder's house they were showing... Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. Was it because there's an evil witch in that as well, do you think? Or? Yeah, I think so. Oh, okay. You know, the TV, the kids, the boys are watching. Yeah, yeah. I just feel like if someone, someone's going to have to decide what we're going to show on the TV. Let's show this. What was that about? You know, yeah. so. I'm going to find out. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm going to find out. We'll, we'll, we'll talk but about but it. The more. witch in Snow White is not a Marvel witch. No, no, no. no. It's no. Just, it's no, but unrelated. she's a Disney witch. She's a Disney, she's a Disney, Disney witch. Because Disney well. owned the Marvel franchise, oh, so they can, okay. they can, they don't even have to ask but permission. I mean, putting that aside, okay. you know, Snow White isn't a Disney story. It was a book. Yes, yeah, so was it? Was it, was it based on the Brothers Grimm yeah. fairy tales? Yeah. So, yeah. Um, but the whole point is, is that Wanda was going to end up being, you know, the evil witch that turned up at the door, and you could say that. But she kind of did through a star-shaped hole door, didn't she? Really? But, yeah. 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 But, um, yes. What did you think of? Um, no, I can't even say her name. It was, it was yes. The actress was called. How do you pronounce it? Zio Chatel. No, no. The um, the the actress is called. Her name is Zio Chatel. Um, oh, that must have been some kind of like. It sounds like a Quetzalcoatl, like a Mexican name. Yes, like um, um, or eating. I, I think she was. I thought she was actually very good in her role. I, I don't know if they explored her enough. Um, and I wonder if she'll be featured in future films. I'd like to see what's her name, Zoshito Gomez. Sure, yeah. she, that's, that must be a Mexican Indian name. Yeah. Say, say it again. Well, I, I will really it. like Shoshil. Shoshil. But yeah. I don't know yeah. if that's how you say that it. In Shoshil, yeah. which is actually a very beautiful name. Yeah. The sound yeah. of it's very beautiful. It's very different. Um, she, uh, she. I thought she was good. She was kind of understated a bit, wasn't she? Yeah. And she did. She, she actually, her, the look of her, especially when she was running from the, the kind of the octopus thing. <clears throat> the look of her looked very um, authentic to comic style. Does that make sense? When she was running, almost a little bit manga in some yeah, respects. Yeah, I liked her jacket with the with the stripes with and the, the stars, stars down. Yeah. The which was referring to her power, which is yeah, really yeah, cool. Yeah. But the, the star motif is just used so many times in Marvel, isn't it? That's right. But it is. But I think it fitted really well for her as well. I think yeah. Um, we we have more to talk about with Amer America because obviously her pa her parents were, yeah were well, so, missing, didn't they? So, well, yeah, they did. Um, I think the fact that they've got two mums is a good is a really good thing to see. Yes, definitely. So I'm really yeah. pleased about that. Um, I was just I spotted her pin. She had a, I saw that as well, yeah. Pin. I saw that, yeah. I was like, yes, that's good. That's a good sign to see that. So, it was subtle, um, wasn't it? But, but it, it was it didn't, it wasn't, it it didn't in make your face. a statement, but it was just nice to yeah, see. Yeah, it wasn't like the big different kind people. of obvious things that we've talked yeah, about. Yeah, it was just diverse, podcast. and I like diverse. Yeah. Um, but yeah, no, that's an, it's an interesting story with her mums, and maybe they will come back again. We'll, we'll have to see. Yeah, she has to find them. Yeah, yeah I was worried about that. Yeah. Purpose, you know? She will, she will. So at the end of the film, uh, much like the Bond films, it did say Doctor Strange will return. Yes. Right. Are you, Carolina, keen to see another Doctor Strange film? Has that film made you want to see another one? I think I will be good through it again. You will. Sure. 
whether I will go voluntarily or you know. Never mind you know. being put through it, right? I, <laughs> I, I, I will have to put myself through it just for completeness' sake. Yeah. You know, I mean, it was obviously better than the Eternals because I got. Yeah, through, I think I got so. The yeah. First twenty minutes. I still haven't seen that film. Do you fall asleep? I've only seen the first twenty. Yeah, no, the plot we didn't make we, sense. We just we yeah. were like, this is rubbish, and yeah. we just turned it off. Yeah. I saw it at the cinema. And I managed to stay awake throughout it, film. But at the cinema, um, there's a certain scene that's more uh, explicit than on the streaming service. Okay. Which, which, when you see it, will make sense. I'm sure you've heard about what happens, but uh, there's a scene that's, yeah. that's cut for Disney streaming service, which I thought was interesting. Right. Uh, the okay. Blu-ray is more, yeah. It's more blue, yeah? yeah. Okay. It's more blue. Um, <clears throat> no, I think, so, yeah, there's, there's tons of new stuff. Uh, but we won't put you through it all. We'll, we'll, we won't insist, we'll space, don't worry. space it out. So next you have Thor. Yeah, no, but we'll uh, see yeah, that. Thor, Thor, Thor would, would be, be okay. Yeah. 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 I can yeah. watch. Yeah. Something for both of us. I think, I mean, in the trailer, there was a, uh, with Thor, there was a, a working out scene, wasn't there, where he was working with big chains. was working off all his... Getting his mojo back. Yeah, yeah. Like that, basically. <laughs> exactly. There was a certain, a certain amount, of, I think, I think at one point there, I just saw Carolina lick her lips. So that's a good sign. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I think, you know, we'll, we'll follow up this um, introduction or this, this quick reaction to the film with a full-on podcast and get Mark's opinion as well, because he has seen it. Yeah, we want to go through more detail. Yeah. We won't through we'll get it a wow. bit more geeky when Carolyn is not here, because you know, she'll lose the will to live. But um, uh, that will come very soon, so listen out to that. And um, thank you for listening to this shorter podcast uh, whilst we're in the Odeon Lux. Thanks, everyone. Thanks, thank everyone. You. Bye. Bye.